So, Father, uh, what, what is your name? What is your name? Father Lucien, Lucien Krulikowski. Krulikowski. So you're from Poland, right? I am from Poland, yes. And you have the amazing distinction of being able to, of, of knowing Father Maximilian Kolbe. Yes, yeah. Saint I, I stayed in Poland for 20 years. And uh, in that uh, time, you see, uh, for three years, I have known Father Maximilian Kolbe, and I met him almost every day. Okay. Now, you uh, met him first in 1937, right? Yes. When he came from Japan. Okay. Yeah. So, he returned from Japan, and that's the first time you saw him. You were already at New this, this was the first time I saw him, yeah. Uh-huh. What were you doing at, um, at, at New Pukulana? At the time, when I saw him, I was a, a student of a, a minor seminary, mission semi seminary. Okay. Because Father Maximilian Kolbe wanted us all to be missionaries. And so the seminary, he started at Neopokolanov. Yes, yeah. At Neopokolanov, uh, he added to this seminary later. Uh, he, uh, um, started with the monastery, mm -hmm. and then after maybe a couple of years, uh, two, three years, you see, he found it uh, in, the, in the same district, you mm -hmm. see, of uh, our seminary, of our can monastery, mm -hmm. there was also the building for seminarians. So it's, it's in the same encampment, basically, in the same campus. Yes, yeah. Okay. And, and that campus, he also started, right? St. Maximilian Kolbe started that campus as well. Yes, the entire yeah, yeah. city oh, was his. Everything was of his initiative. And, he uh, he right. did it. He did it. He, his imprint. Right. Everything had a, his imprint. And this was um, Neopokolanov means the city of the Immaculate. Yes, the city of the Immaculate, Neopokolanov. In uh, Japan, for instance, he uh, didn't uh, uh, call the monastery Nepokalanov in Japanese, but the jardin, uh, the garden of the Immaculate. Right. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then um, he started a very large um, printing apostolate there that was oh, um, yes. one of yes. the largest in Europe, yeah, right? One of the of the uh, largest in Poland, uh -huh. yeah, in comparison with other, uh, with uh, even uh, um, civilian, Sorry. you see, yeah, very grandiose, beautiful. Right. Uh, 700, uh, 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 those uh, friars, uh, they worked for three uh, shifts, mm -hmm. day and night. Yeah, because wow. we printed not only the uh, Night of the Immaculate, but uh, many other things, you see. Uh -huh. Even in, in, uh, uh, in Latin, okay. Miles Immaculate. Okay. Miles Immaculate. And uh, for the children also a little... Uh, Night of Immaculata. At the beginning, you see, uh, was writing a lot in in the uh, Night of the Immaculata. Very oh. many articles. Okay. So uh, I was uh, absorbing them, and uh, I knew I I had in the. Uh, the vocation, but I didn't know exactly where I, I am going to be, uh, where to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, Father Maximilian had a, already a place in my heart. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, what prompted me to go to Nepokalanov <clears throat> one day, 
And my uncle, who was a, 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 a brother, you see, in, in our, in Etnie Pokalanov, huh? he was uh, in the administration. So he came to Poznan, my city huh? where I lived, huh? uh, with an exhibition. Japanese artifacts, you see, Japanese religious artifacts. And uh, he, he was not, he did not intend to visit my family because he was too busy huh? with the people who came to, for, to see the uh, exhibition. The exhibition. Yeah. But my sister, met him in the street mm -hmm. and invited him home. So then he was obliged to come <laughs> to find a couple of, a few, a few minutes, you see. Uh -huh. So he came and during uh, our conversations, I, for the first time I said to him, my mother, I would like to go to Nepokalanov to be a priest. Wow. And my mother, First, uh, heard this for the first time that I want to be a priest, and uh, she said I was, um, uh, I was uh, praying for that for your vocation. That's beautiful. <laughs> so you um, then went to Neopokalanov straight away. Straight away, uh, uh, my, uh, my uncle. Mm -hmm. went back and prepared the papers okay. and they sent. So pretty soon I, I, uh, I went to Nepokalanov, yeah. Were people very much uh, proud of what he had done? Yeah, oh yes, yeah. He was, uh, he was well known mm. to all over Poland. Yeah. Uh, we had many visitors, I remember that Many visitors came to see Maximilian Kolbe from not only from Poland but from abroad. Okay. Yeah. And uh, they visited uh, the printing machines. You see, we had uh, Maximilian had this idea for the immaculate, the best. Right. For us, something very simple. Okay. Something simple. Yeah, poverty. Yeah, but uh, the uh, printing machines, he went to Germany to find, find out, you see, which mm -hmm. is the best one. Best printing press. Yeah, and uh, brought it. Uh, I remember that uh, uh, you put, for instance, a, a, a paper or the ball of paper, uh -huh. you see, on one side, uh -huh. and it goes through the machine, uh -huh. you see, and uh, it prints, prints, uh, then uh, bends, uh -huh. you see, it. and uh, clips, you uh -huh. see, the, um, and uh, puts, um, and in two colors, <laughs> and uh, puts all, all uh, prints all, uh, the address okay. and so when it comes out, so it's, it's, it's ready, a ready, a ready for, monthly. Ready see? for the mail, huh? Yeah, so <laughs> the, the, the flyers packed in immediately into the sacks wow. and sent to the, uh, uh, to the uh, railway station. Sure. If, you would ask me, ask question, who is Maximilian Kolbe? There are so many friars, 700. Who is Maximilian Kolbe? I would like you to uh, pinpoint him, you see, uh, select and say, this must be Maximilian Kolbe. You would, you would indicate the last one. <laughs> <laughs> he was so simple, uh -huh. so self-effacing. Oh. Yeah. So what, what's the thing that you 
remember most about him? What was, what was an incident that, um, that he did or said that um, really struck you in, in your mind and stayed with you? Oh, when he came to our <clears throat> uh, seminary, very often he played chess with us. And he, he could win each time with anybody uh -huh. because he had a mathematical he was a, a genius, uh -huh. you see, a mathematical genius. So uh, he could play with five or six at the same time and win, <laughs> win uh, everybody. Wow. But uh, he, sometimes he gave us a chance to win <laughs> also. Um, uh, so, but, and we were, uh, we used to uh, joke with him, huh? and he had from Japan. He had beautiful b b uh, beard, which was a missionary thing, right? Missionary, the, yes. The he came, yeah. So the, his beard was totally black, uh -huh. like a coal. You see, uh -huh. black on one side, but red underneath. Uh -huh. And we were. Asking, Father, how come you got uh, the, that beard in two colors? Oh, he said, oh, there's a story about it, you see. When I was in Japan, one day uh, friars uh, uh, were short of, uh, of tea. So I, I told them, don't bother, just uh, prepare the boiling water and I will do the rest. And uh, when uh, they did it, so uh, he said, I went and put my, uh, soaked my um, beard into this boiling water, <laughs> at which that, that part which was above, you see, remained black. <laughs> and the rest was black. <laughs> so this, this were, were the jokes you see he was <laughs> giving us many, many times. We could uh, uh, see him in the light of his works mm. because he, he had one lung only mm. in good shape. And the other was was uh, mm, uh, uh, mm, uh, he had uh, pneumonia, pneumonia right? tuberculosis, just, just tuberculosis, tuberculosis, and uh, the other one was also a little mm -hmm. bit uh, taken, you see, but uh, <clears throat> uh, so he his voice was very. Soft, very. He, you, you see, at the this this distance, to the friars, he never spoke without uh, amplifier, okay. uh, microphone. Mm -hmm. Not never without microphone. He was, uh, friars, huh? friars. Uh, you see, they were so eager to uh, listen to his words because his words were beautiful, uh -huh. very deep, that they shorthanded it. Okay. And we have, uh, we have uh, many of his uh, sermons and uh, uh, talks, you see, written by the friars who put, uh, who put in shorthand everything. Uh, at the beatification of Father Maximilian Kolbe, I went to Rome. And uh, at our uh, monastery there, I saw uh, a pile of books, you see, uh, lying on the floor and uh, at that height, uh, writings of Maximilian Kolbe. Wow. Uh, he was very prolific. Right, right. So this is how we knew Maximilian Kolbe by his writings uh -huh. And by his works, right. by his uh, deeds, yeah. So he was also a um, uh, had a very maternal spirit then toward his um, toward his um, friars that were under him. Oh yes, he he was uh, he was a strict 
in the observance of, of the uh, vows, but uh, otherwise he was like a mother. So he's um, a great organizer. He, he would be able, oh, yes. able to yeah. uh, have his many different publications and he's able to keep them all on target as far as mm -hmm. um, yeah. being ready and on then time. We, had, we printed also a daily, uh -huh. a daily Mawijinik, daily, which was also uh, um, an en object of envy of uh, 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 many other uh, printing uh, papers, you mm -hmm. see, because... So the, even, even the uh, secular newspapers were envious of what he did? Envy, yeah, what, what he did and, and how he spread. Right. That uh, they, uh, they wanted to uh, not destroy him, but you, mm -hmm. you see, to... Uh, not to go like this, you right. see. Yeah. They're outdoing yeah. them, right? He, he was outdoing yeah. the, uh, the, the civilian. So what they did, you see, they had people in the post offices and asked them to slow that, slow. <laughs> yeah, to put uh, uh, news, the newspaper from Nepokalanov uh, two days later. So they the, uh, they had a, the other uh, papers had a chance to to okay. to be to be uh, right. sold. What, what Maximilian did, you see, he didn't fight. He didn't fight them, but he prepared uh, uh, friars, uh, sent friars for the uh, to the flying school. Okay and uh, uh, took our uh, 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 turned, turned our uh, uh, football <laughs> into uh, field into, into for uh, a airport. Run, a runway, airport. A runway. He wanted to, to send uh, <laughs> by planes, you see. Yeah. So that, that would bypass the post office, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We all say that he prepared <coughs> Poland, people, Polish people, you see, for uh, endure uh, the, uh, um, the sufferings of the, during the Second World War. Right. Yeah. Cardinal Wyszyński and John Paul II, they were all both Marian uh, 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 figure. You see, so they they were influenced by uh, Saint Maximilian Kolbe. Yeah, Poland uh, during communist era, you see, uh, was uh, ninety per percent uh, just Polish and uh, Catholic. Wow, a black. So they couldn't break it. You see, the communists right. couldn't break. Like for instance, they broke. Uh, Czechoslo in Czechoslovakia, uh, Romania, uh, Romain, Romania, and uh, Hungary, right. you see, but Poland was resisting, yeah. Now, how, what about yourself? Um, you, you were then um, captured, um, you, you were sent at, to another seminary in eastern Poland, right? Yes. <coughs> I was sent to Lwów, which is in, today is Ukraine, okay. uh, Eastern Poland, a, a large city, right. very Polish, but uh, Stalin had uh, uh, another plan, you see, right. he incorporated uh, West, uh, Eastern Poland into Soviet Union. Hitler attacked from the west yeah and stalin attacked from the east yes and um 17 seven days later they were supposed to attack both right at the same time but uh, stalin was suspicious of uh, uh, hitler yeah. and waited uh, uh, how he will succeed in uh, fighting poles right. you see when he saw that Po, uh, the uh, German tanks 
uh, overran Poland, you see, yeah. because, and we didn't have much right. uh, of uh, those uh, equipment. Sure. So then he attacked from the okay. 17 days later okay. from the east. So this resulted in you being very separated from St. Maximilian Kolbe and Neopokolanov because he had these yes. big, very big armies basically between you and yeah. them. Yeah. So what was your, um, um, after being in Neopokolanov and, and everything working out so well, what was your, were you uh, kind of um, uh, scared at that point, being so, uh, having things change so much and being so far away from home? No, we... Uh uh, the occupation, you see, we knew that uh, people were being arrested yeah. during the nights and uh, shipped to Siberia. Mm. But we never thought, you see, we never suspected that they will take us. Okay. Um, they, they, t they came to, uh, to the monastery and said that I have I have to get a, a paper, mm -hmm. a temporary paper, you right. see. Uh, otherwise, they could arrest me in right. the street okay. if, if I have nothing, right. no um, document like with me, right. you see. So I believed, I believed, and I went um, uh, to the uh, police station to yeah. get this paper, yeah. you see, at, uh, at five o'clock in the morning, b because I wanted to get uh, almost first and then return for the philosophy right. uh, sessions, uh, lessons. But, uh, uh, and I was only in my pants, in my yeah. shirt. It was beautiful time, uh, you see, yeah. uh, June, yeah. in June. <coughs> and um, I was staying there, um, maybe six or seven hours wow. waiting. And there were many others who made a, a yeah. Got their job done yeah. left. Huh? They were waiting also. Oh, okay. And uh, at one time, a soldier came out and said with a rifle, you see, it said to us that, uh, listen, you hamper people to uh, go on the side, uh, oh. you see, on the street. So please uh, go into, into the Mm, uh, courtyard mm -hmm. of the police, you see, into the courtyard. When we went into the courtyard, you see, they, oh, they, they arrested us. Or they, wow. You, and so did um, <laughs> your association with St. Maximilian and Colby help you get through these difficult times? Because you then went yeah, to uh, was, Siberia too, right? Um, uh, Nepoklano for me is uh, like a credo. Okay. Oh, spiritual cradle. Yeah, I I always uh, uh, return to uh, to the to the spirit of Maximilian Kolbe. Even today. Even today, mm. when I was when I um, uh, was studying theology in Beirut, Lebanon, mm -hmm. so because. I was a, a layman, mm -hmm. so I was in the, I, I, uh, I had a castle, a, a diocesan seminary in castle mm -hmm. for four years. And when it, it came to uh, ordination, so they, uh, I had to choose mm. either to be under the bishop jurisdiction or a monk. Mm -hmm. You see, the Jesuits asked me to join him because this was the Jesuits uh, university. Mm -hmm. And there were some Polish uh, Jesuits. But St. Francis and St. Maximilian Kolbe, they drew me back. Yeah. <laughs> they drew me back. 
And even, even my spiritual director, uh, Father Valencien, a Jesuit, uh, who was a Jew, uh -huh. you see, told oh. me, this is a good choice. You have to get back to, to your roots, <laughs> to, to St. Francis and Maximilian Kolbe. And I didn't know that Maximilian Kolbe was uh, killed in, right. in Auschwitz at the time. And when, was, did you, when did you find out that? Oh, maybe when I came to, to Canada. Wow, so yeah. this is... Um, 40, 47. 47. 47. Okay. Wow. Yeah. He finished high school, college, and uh, uh, applied for the novitiate. So the, uh, some lay people and, uh, and uh, our priest, you see, they discussed each uh, application. And when it came to Raymond Kolbe, mm -hmm. his name was Raymond, not Maximilian, Raymond Kolbe. So uh, <clears throat> uh, one of the professors stood up and said, it would be a, a, lo a, a, a loss for the world to, to put him behind the you see, in the convent. Mm -hmm. He would be lost for the, for Poland. Mm. He would be lost for the, for the world. Because according to me, he is a genius. Mm. Genius in mathematics, genius in uh, 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 physics. Mm -hmm. Physics. In, in 1907, he already prepared, you see, in uh, how to shoot the, to, a rocket. Um, uh, the rocket to the moon, <laughs> you right. see, and how much it would be, uh, 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 they would have to have the what t kind of t thrust, thrust and fuel. To, to shoot it, you <laughs> see, so, you, so he, was, he said, I cannot, um, I am his professor, I, I cannot follow his thought he is so <laughs> so bright Incredible. so he would could be a, another copernicus right. or galileo right. or newton so it's better to send him to the university not not to uh, seminary. Yeah, to seminary <laughs> and uh, <coughs> our provincial huh? answered him and said that uh, I agree, he might be a genius, as you say, right. uh, in uh, mathematics and physics, but I will tell you, we have in spiritual, spirituality, we have geniuses also, right. and we call them saints. <laughs> <laughs> so it's that what you see, and when they discussed the name for the applicant. Uh -huh. So, because of the kind of discussion they made, you see, they chose Maximilianus, <laughs> the, the greatest, you see, the Maximilianus, the greatest. Uh -huh. So, when uh, Maximilian Kolbe uh, got the news that he was named uh, Max, uh, not Raymond, but Maximilianus, he said, Hurrah! I want to be the greatest, but in what? In loving people and loving God. Wow. See, through loves. So it, I would, I would bring out these two loves as his motto of his life. Yes. Well, that fits his um, his death as well, because he gave up his own life out of love of God yeah. and oh, love of the neighbor. Is, this is, uh, he proved, he proved by uh, giving up his life right. that he loved God and loved neighbor. What did you think when you first heard that, as far as the, the, uh, the details of his death? About what? The fact that he died in place of somebody else. 
I wasn't surprised. Wow. I wasn't surprised because he is, he was, um, when he came from Japan, so he told the, the friars, you see, that he has been uh, promised heaven, but don't ask more. Mm. He had such a, uh, this, uh, he must have had a, a, a vision in right. Japan. And our Blessed Virgin Mary told him that he will, he will be in heaven, so that he wanted to share this. He couldn't stand, you see, to have this uh, secret all alone. So he said to friars, yeah, I have been mm, promised heaven, but don't ask more. Don't ask more. Who told him where it was? You see, mm, no. yeah. what, would, what would he say today? Um, if he knows, knew today what the mass media is doing um, in regard to materialism yeah. and, and secularism. And he was, uh, he, he wanted to uh, use all means, all means to, uh, to evangelize. So that's why first he built the radio station. And uh, it, uh, just before the, the outbreak of the war. Right. <coughs> and he, he, he was uh, thinking of Russia mm. to send a, 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 a missionary. A, oh, oh so radio yeah, signals? Yeah, radio. To, to Russia in the Russian, yeah. in the Russian language, because we were uh, very close to the frontier. Uh, of Russia, wow. yeah. So then, then he want he also thought about television. Wow. Yeah, about television. He uh, he want and uh, his uh, printing uh, uh, presses. You see, so everything to spread to evangelize all the whole world, and he and he wanted also to open up uh, the Apocalanus uh, in many parts of the world. And in Japan, you see, the bishop uh, told him of uh, Nagasaki, you see, uh -huh. I didn't ask you to come. <laughs> I didn't, uh, why did you come? Go back to Poland. <laughs> and Father Maximilian Kolbe, he didn't even had money to get back <laughs> because because uh, uh, the the, the um, uh, his, uh, his uh, superiors you see they were afraid that he will um, uh, uh, the, that they will not be able to cover all the uh, all the bills yeah. <laughs> so Father Maximilian, uh, uh, and uh, this uh, bishop said, when he was so angry, get out, go back. So he said, uh, uh, I am looking only for a professor, but not a missionary. For a professor I need for my uh, seminary. Uh, uh, professor of philosophy and theology. And Maximilian Corbe said that, I have those two doctors. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, he, he asked him to stay okay. and he helped me. In a month from, from uh, landing in yeah. Japan, Maximilian Kolbe printed the first uh, uh, monthly mm -hmm. in Japanese. Wow. Yeah, in Japanese, the um, the uh, Miles Immaculate. So, yeah. So uh, he organized. He, he uh, uh, asked uh, the uh, the pagans to uh, to uh, translate 
from Latin because he was uh, writing, uh -huh. writing in articles in uh, Latin. Okay. And uh, the Japanese clever men, you see, yeah. they translated into Japanese. And these people were pagans. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you, can, you can see that he, they, they had... Um, uh, they uh, uh, had uh, a saint, you see. Right. <laughs> wow, you must know. Knowing that the church is uh, not doing so well as far as attendance and maybe as far as um, a, a good of image as it ought to in the world, um, what would he say as far as how to remedy the problem? He would say that we have to be holy. You see, this is the only way to uh, spread the gospel, by being holy. Wow. No other way, no other, no even uh, printing, uh, 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 presses and uh, all other means, no, but as humans we have to be holy. So all the printing presses in the world won't do it, all the no. uh, organization won't do it. Mm. It has to be the holiness and from there the organization and the printing presses will do yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this, this is the only way. Yeah, and uh, holiness is, is the only sense of our being on this earth, nothing else. If we, if we uh, don't get holy, uh, we don't want to be holy, so our life is sp spurious, uh, spurious, you see, mm -hmm. nothing. Meaningless. Yeah, yeah it's, it's null. It's zero. It's yeah. uh, it's complete failure. Yeah. Yeah. We are created by God, who is uh, uh, love, and love is holiness. Yeah. To to be holy, uh, and He uh, created us to to love and to be holy, like Him, like Him. We are His children. So we have to be holy. Otherwise, if we are not holy, no, this, we don't have a ticket to, to heaven, to the kingdom of heaven. We have to be holy. That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, he, uh, he thought, you see, that uh, Mary, as she is also human and uh, knows our predicament, know, knows uh, our situation on earth, and the best, the, the, the shortest way to her son is by taking her hand, you see, and ask her to bring us to Jesus. So that's why he, this, his Mariology is so, so deep, so developed, because uh, he believed that Our Lady uh, uh, will bring us to Our Lord. And he knew also about, you see, about this prediction from the, um, what God said to the Sarah. devil. Okay in the, you see, at the beginning of our history, uh -huh. that uh, Mary will conquer him, uh -huh. the devil. He um, converted many people in his uh -huh. life. Many uh -huh. people, he, he was not afraid. Uh, our lady uh, uh, appeared before the revolution, uh -huh in the Russia started. Right. But Maximilian Kolbe didn't uh, speak about uh, Fatima because it was not yet 
uh, approved by the Holy See. Right. <coughs> and he was um, very obedient, very obedient. Do you have a devotion today to St. Maximilian Kolbe? Do you pray to him? Oh yes, every day I, I uh, after the Mass I say uh, uh, the dedication to the Blessed Virgin Mary according to St. Maximilian Kolbe. Right. 